So how to enable our custom SSL certificates in Kong API Gateway in declarative mode? That's what we're going to see in this video. If you want to learn more, stick with me. Hello and what's up guys, Medium Guy here and in this video I'm going to generate a self-signed certificate and pass it to Kong API Gateway. So as a result, Kong API Gateway will be served behind HTTPS. So as you can see over here in the documentation, I can pass my SSL certificate files in a comma separated list of keys, which can actually be the absolute path for the certificate files, the certificate content and base64 encoded of the content of the certificate files. So actually we need to pass two different configuration, one for the key and one for the certificate file. So with having that in mind, I'm going to switch to the VS code over here. As you can see, I've got a Docker Compose file, which has two services, one starting an echo server, which I've called it the backend service, which will actually echo back whatever request that it receives. So I haven't exposed its port directly to the outside network, but it will actually be accessible from the Kong service. So if I scroll down over here, you can see that I've got the Kong API gateway using the official Kong image and passing two volumes to inside the container, one being the dot slash config directory and the other the dot slash search directory. So the search directory will actually contain my search file and key file and the dot slash config directory will have a very simple declarative config file for Kong API gateway to proxy to the backend service right over here. So over here I've got some environment variables that have passed like for example the path of the config file inside the container which I've mapped to exactly the same directory in the volume section. So next I've got some other environment variables. Right over here I've got the Kong underline SSL underline cert and Kong SSL cert underline key. So as you can see I've passed the absolute path of the cert file for the cert environment variable and the key file for the cert key environment variable. And next and last over here, I've got the ports section that I've mapped to exact ports inside the container, which are actually the admin listen ports and the Kong proxy ports itself. So next, if I go to the config directory that exists right next to the docker compose file and the kong.yaml file inside the config directory, you can see that I've got a very simple configuration which has a service which I've named the echo server and it is actually a proxy to the backend server which is actually the name of the service in the docker compose file for the echo server. So as you can see it is exposed on the slash echo path. And then right over here I've got the search directory that is actually empty right now and by using OpenSSL commands I'm going to generate some self-signed certificates. So if I move to the terminal right over here I'll hit ls I'll make sure that I'm in the exact same directory that I've got my config files. So if I go to the search directory, I'll hit ls and I can see that it is an empty directory. So I'm going to define the domain as localhost because it is the domain that I'll be trying to access the Kong API gateway. So next by using the OpenSSL command, I'll try to actually create my key file. So if I hit ls, you can see that my key file is created right over here. And next I'll try to create my CSR file by passing in this key file that I just created. If I hit enter and if I hit ls right now, you can see that my CSR file is created, which is actually required for creating the cert file itself. So lastly, again, by using the OpenSSL command, I'll try to create my cert file and I'll pass 365 days as the parameter for this cert file to be valid. So if I hit enter and if I hit ls right now, you can see that I've got all my files, the key and CSR and cert file, and they are actually ready to be consumed by Kong API Gateway to serve in HTTPS mode. So no worries about these commands and configuration files because I'm going to put all these commands and configuration files 
in my GitHub repository and you can find the relevant link down in the description section of this video. So now I've got all the configuration files and certificate files to get Kong API Gateway up and running. So right before that, over here, you can see in a schematic way about the thing that will happen when we get Kong API Gateway up and running. So we're going to have a user that will make requests with HTTPS protocol in a secure way to Kong API Gateway. And then the Kong API Gateway will proxy that request in HTTP, which is not secured, to the relevant backend service and get the response response from that service and send it back to the user again in HTTPS protocol. As a result, we only expose the Kong API gateway to the outside network and the rest of these services will be only accessible by the Kong API gateway. So in this way, only by enabling the SSL in the Kong API gateway level, we actually secure the connections between the users and the Kong API gateway, which is actually necessary to be secured. But the connections between Kong API gateway and the backend services will be in a private network and it won't actually matter if it is SSL enabled or not. So going back to the terminal, I'll go back a directory and I hit OS to verify that my docker compose file exists right over here. So if I hit docker compose op d, I can see that both my containers are created with a network attaching those two containers to that network. So if I hit docker compose ps, I can verify that both my containers are up and running and I can see that the Kong API gateway is in healthy status with the desired ports mapped to inside the container. So right now if I go to the browser and try to connect to localhost on port 8443, as you can see the browser will actually complain about the certificates because they are self-signed and they are not actually valid and signed by correct authorities. But because I know that I have created them myself, I'll hit the advanced button over here and proceed to localhost anyway. So I'll click this and you can see that I'm getting the response from the Kong API gateway complaining about the no route matched with these values. So that is because I have made a request to a path that doesn't actually proxy to anywhere. So if I hit slash echo at the end and I'll hit enter and you can see that I'm getting the response from the echo server that is behind the Kong API gateway. So as a result, you can see that my echo server that is accessed and proxied by Kong API gateway is served on HTTPS, but in our case, the certificate file is not valid, but actually following the same steps, we can just replace the valid certificates with these self-signed certificates and actually have a fully secured API gateway that can be served on the internet. So that's all for this video. I hope you learned something new in this one. If you have any questions, any recommendations, of course, go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below. Also, if you want to learn more about Kong API Gateway in declarative mode as Docker container, I've got a whole playlist about that in which you can enable things like IP restrictions, rate limiting, load balancing and stuff like that. Also, I'll put the link down in the description section. If you find interesting, you can give a visit. So if you found the video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to help grow the channel and motivate me to create more free contents like this. And with that, I hope to see you in the next video.